Are you wondering if the battery life on the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7 is actually any good and if it's actually better than on the previous 6 and 5? Let's start with the specs of the battery itself. So on this smaller model which I have here you get 300 milliamp hours. On the bigger one 425. When we actually calculate in a percentage that's actually 42% larger. So actually quite quite large difference. And also this Galaxy Watch 7 gets completely new CPU. It's actually uh, literally three times faster than on the Galaxy Watch 6. And when we actually use the watch, it absolutely flies. It has got amazing performance. Also the CPU, as they claim, is around 30% more power efficient as well. By the way, I have had this watch only for six days and I think I need probably more time to actually give you the best answers on the battery life. But I got absolutely bombarded with questions about the battery life of this watch, so I had to make this uh, video anyway. Okay, let's first cover the battery life in standby basically. If you have your always on display off and you are actually not wearing this watch, for example, maybe you take off your watch at night and leave it on your table. For example, I don't wear the watch at night. So when I actually did that, I did uh, this on three different days. So I noted how much battery I had before I went to sleep and when I actually picked up the watch in the morning. So, and it actually has got insanely good standby time. So in around 10 hours uh, on all of these days, I only got seven to 8% battery drain on this watch while it was not actually being used. And that's actually insanely cool. By the way, I haven't tested the Galaxy Watch 6 uh, that extensively. I had that watch for maybe like only a week. So, but I used the Galaxy Watch 5 for like a year. That was my main watch actually. And the standby time on that, I would say was literally like um, maybe like three times worse. So there's actually insane difference if you simply leave this watch and uh, don't really use it. However, if you are a power user of this watch and you actually have the always on display and maybe the brightness at the maximum as I have right here and you actually use your watch a lot, maybe check your emails, play some music and stuff like that, the battery life actually drains quite, quite fast. So don't really expect any miracles. So basically, if you use the watch a lot, basically, and have the screen at the maximum brightness and pretty much start doing a lot of stuff on it, the battery <laughs> goes uh, yeah, down the cliff basically very fast but still I think uh, the battery life is actually improved over the previous versions as on my Galaxy Watch 5 if I started to use this, that watch very extensively and uh, like literally just uh, did some various things on it the battery life actually dropped way way faster than on this so again this has got insanely better uh, CPU so and also more power efficient so not really just uh, like yeah, consumes less battery. While the Samsung claims that this watch might actually be around 30% better in the battery life than the Galaxy Watch 6, I think in real life it might be around 20% better than the Galaxy Watch 6 from what I have seen. And it's obviously way, way better than the Galaxy Watch 5. By the way, the new Galaxy Watch 7 also gets new dual band GPS, so that's actually good upgrade as well. And I actually tested the uh, GPS uh, battery consumption. So while uh, using basically the GPS, tracking a walking exercise and walking around and not actually using the watch, maybe I use it uh, for like uh, just checked one or once it or twice, just see how much I have walked. It consumed around 7% in one hour of uh, walking exercise. So I think that that's absolutely great. So yeah, then also I did some more testing while actually using this watch at the start and fiddling around with it while I was walking. So I checked some stuff on it. So just like I was really eager to explore it. So really maybe in that one hour, I also had maybe uh, around 10 minutes or a bit more of uh, actual screen time. And then it consumed 13% of battery life. So if you actually use this watch to track your activity and uh, and actually basically maybe do something on the watch as well, that will give you again this power consumption. Uh, by the way, that was without the always on display. So the screen was completely black to get this. So with always on display, I didn't test it, but it will obviously be more.
overall after using this watch for around uh, those almost six days i think the battery life actually is improved and i think it's mainly due to that new cpu while again samsung claims around 30 percent i think uh, it might be around 20 percent better battery life than on the galaxy watch 6. by the way again this is a smaller 40 millimeter version so you will actually get a better battery life on the bigger one and if you have the always on display on the smaller version i think you will need to charge your watch again every single day maybe if you get that uh, like bigger version and you still have the always on display it might uh, last you almost two days but still you are, you are depending on your charger quite a lot if you actually disable your always on display uh, in real life i think this smaller 40 millimeter might uh, get you two days of a decent battery life again that's if you actually don't abuse this watch and don't use it that much the bigger one again it had a 40 percent larger battery basically so again you might even get like almost three days on that watch of decent usage with your sensors but still again it really depends on how you actually use your watch and what you actually do with it so again i can't really even give you a super good estimate on the battery life you will get because it depends on each in your version and what you actually do with this watch for example on the galaxy watch 5 which i use for like almost a year i could uh, get like literally five days of battery life on the smaller model if i actually disabled all the heart rate sensors if i disabled the always on display and didn't really touch that much much just wore it uh, for step count tracker by the way that was with that newest wear os version basically with the version it shipped with it had a kind of terrible battery life but that new wear os on the galaxy watch 5 really fixed the battery life on that and again on the smaller 40 millimeter version if I had to squeeze the maximum battery life out of that watch I could almost get literally five days out of that so really it depends on what you actually do with your watch how many sensors you are willing to give up have how much you maybe use and check your email or maybe how much you call so again it all really depends and looking at this standby power consumption by the way that was still with some uh, like wi-fi and bluetooth enabled so i think i can even get maybe this lower if i actually disable some more stuff and after i give this watch some more time so maybe if i super optimize this uh, smaller 40 millimeter uh, maybe i can get almost a week of battery life but again that's like a completely crazy scenario basically where you don't use your watch maybe just again to check track your steps so don't really expect a week of battery life from this watch in normal usage if you go completely crazy with it you might actually get that and with the larger model i think it might actually be doable if uh, again you like convert this watch uh, to almost a dumb watch not a smart watch and just use it to track your steps and see your time so i think that's doable actually but again if you are using this watch just as a normal smartwatch and actually use everything on it is always on display again uh, to get the best experience really you are going to need to charge this watch again pretty much every single day by the way the charging speeds on this watch are actually super good let's see how fast actually the galaxy watch 7 charges i will be starting at five percent as it didn't really want to drain it to zero so put it on charger by the way i'm using a wall charger the best i have and it says it will take one hour and 13 minutes for a full charge okay so it took a bit over nine minutes to reach 25 percent okay 15 minutes to reach 40 percent okay so uh, 21 minute to reach half charge let me pause it and check for warms actually yeah the watch i think it's uh, it's not warm at all so uh, I think maybe previous watches maybe overheated a bit. Maybe this uh, charger is a bit warm, but the watch itself from charging, it's maybe slightly warmer, but it's not hot at all. So very decent actually. Okay, just under half an hour to reach 65%. So yeah, this charging speed is actually impressive on this watch indeed. Okay, and exactly 40 minutes to reach 80%. Okay, a bit under 47 to reach 90%. And around 92 or 93%, I think it started to slow down the charging rate, I think to preserve the battery health. 
and the estimate the watch provided at the start was spot on so it took uh, one hour and a bit over 10 minutes to fully charge to 100 percent also one more thing about this watch and the battery saver mode so obviously it has this battery saver mode as well where when i actually enable this the watch doesn't even feel like sluggish at all actually to be honest uh, i think it feels even more snappier uh, than galaxy watch 6 without the power saving mode so as you see it doesn't even li literally like slow down at all in this power saving mode and everything still works super fluid on the galaxy watch 5 for example i never enabled that uh, like power saving mode it the watch wasn't usable at all so it was completely useless so it lagged it was like crazy crazy laggy on this it looks pretty much just as good as that uh, like non-power saving mode maybe you can detect some a uh, few milliseconds of uh, slower response but um, i think it's it's really fast this power saving mode overall really there is an obvious uh, like battery life improvements on the galaxy watch 7 again that's mainly due to that newer super fast cpu and it also being super more power efficient really so if you're wanting to upgrade uh, yeah you will obviously get a bit better life than on the galaxy watch 6 and much better battery life than on the galaxy watch but again don't expect to get like one week or two weeks of battery life out of this watch if you need such long battery life you really have to look at other brands really is that battery life improvement probably you were hoping maybe for super good improvement but again it's really just marginal maybe again like 20 percent better over the galaxy watch 6